it's me, Speedrun. Right now, we are learning how to set the wall edit. You have seen on the last video on how to create the gets. You have seen this mapping game as well. And now we are creating the wall edit. In this corner of the map, I have a place to add walls. I want to simply add black walls, but I will teach you a few things right now. So you can basically select with shift and place the walls. For example, I click here and hold shift and keep clicking and creating this. Right now you can see. And I just made the wall. Now I can simply go ahead and click apply texture. But why not just finishing this part of the wall as well? Make sure you don't click away uh, in the wrong place when you're doing this. But I will teach you how to fix in case you create walls under the ground. And we are almost done. This is a lot easier than Brow Edit 586. So now I'm placed. Uh, adding where the wall should go and later all I need to do is hit apply texture and we have set up our wall easy 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 okay so now we have the wall right there and I can just go ahead and click save now that I saved I can for example open I will close this for now. I don't want to mess up. And go to our speedrun map. And our brow edit just crashed. Alright. Always remember to save your files. Brow edit will crash sometimes. And here. Let's work on the, the walls. You can select. Uh, for example. Right, like uh, any way you want, it's holding shift here and bring it up. And because these build walls are selected, already build the walls for me, which can be very convenient. And now I just wanted to show you that first. And now we will create here two blocks of wall. Okay. I will go to wall. A wall which is F4 for the shortcut and show you that I can create walls here on the floor and then can say apply texture now there is actually a wall and if I click away I don't even know there is a wall anymore so let's see here one two three four five the fifth one has a wall so now I'm not even selecting build walls. And one, two, three, four, five. Around here have walls. You see that? And this is really messing up your map. So what I'm going to do is click um, data. And then there is clean walls. Remove zero height walls. And now I can bring this up and you can see that's clean. So if you're building walls and you're afraid there were a wall hidden somewhere, you can just use that setting, which is pretty good. And we can go back to the wall edit right now. So F4, I'll click F4. And I will click on one of these walls. Maybe two. So I have selected two of these walls, the first one, second one. And I can go ahead and click apply texture again because before I was selecting that way. And now I'm just selecting this two, I apply texture, and this is pretty much what happens. So if I select like this and apply texture, this is what happens. If I select like this and apply texture, this is what happens, right? Got it? 
and it's automatically changing for me right here. So I click apply textures and let's see. I'll click a bunch of buttons here, see if something change. Yes, shift. So if you are selecting a few pieces of the wall and you hold shift, oh, it seems like you don't even need to. Uh, Uh, these two are different. Okay, so let's try here. So if I select, for example, this wall, I can hold shift. First I click and then I hold shift. Remember, click first. So I click on a piece of wall. Need to be calm at this time. <laughs> and I'll hold shift. And now I'll click. And I can drag to the left or right. And he will it will um, move for me the texture right here. Uh, if I click Shift and Control, nothing change. Shift and Alt, nothing change. If I click and press Alt, you can see that moves faster. If I click and press Control, nothing change. So either you choose Alt or Shift. Let me try Alt and Shift now. That does not work. So out it goes a bit faster. Uh, I thought it could snap somewhere. But yeah, you see, like, it's very convenient. I am holding out right now. And I can come closer to this part to see there in the texture selection. And now it's moving too fast. I can just hold shift. And I can bring exactly to the place I want. And done. It changed for me. Now there is another option which is flip selected. And they will flip the selection for you. It's, it's flipping across the entire wall. Let's apply texture here and then flip. So if you apply texture. Uh, in this wall first and then you apply texture in this wall second when you go down here and you click flip texture it's not gonna mess up the whole wall like for example if I'm in this wall and then click flip you can see that's changing all around right and yeah, that's pretty cool. I think I covered pretty much everything. You can also actually select, let's make a different uh, height here. Uh, go here and go to wall edit. And let's place a selection and click apply texture. That's so big. And I can go down here and apply texture. This is better. So what I want to show you that you can actually pick the the I think called vertices vertex. I don't remember exactly the name. And you can drag this uh, like like that way. You can see create some artifact there but for example let's let's try something here i'm just testing out uh, let's bring this like that and now i'll create a wall again um, yeah just let's test like this and apply texture so I need to come here and fix manually this. Right now it's like this. And if I drag to the center, that happens. And I just lost one of the, the wall points here. Uh, that's really crazy. Let's fix that again. And if I bring this to the center that happens if I bring this I cannot 
I can. Yeah. So if I bring this, it does look cool actually. So this will be the properly, probably the best ones of this vertex. This will not work. So I apply texture again, and in Ragnarok, the texture will read in a different way. So I can see that actually this is what's happening right here. And yeah, I just want to show you that you can actually control this. If you want to make something more special somehow, you know, like look at that effect right now. It's just crazy. Oh, there is the vertex. You see? <laughs> That's insane. So you have like, uh, you can create some crazy maps with this, honestly. Something that, like a maze, and then people go in. This floor looks so crazy, man. And then let's place a few more here, apply texture. Let's just create a bunch of random. You see, you can make the ugliest map in the world <laughs> with this feature. Look at that. Yeah, that's uh, some weird stuff, guys. Yeah, then you can go ahead and select any texture you want. Well, edit. Let's go here to this texture. Let's create a the wall here. Apply texture. Let's select the entire thing here. And now, because this is a pink background on the GRF with the hex FF00FF. You can actually see through and you can actually see the water in game if you use this texture. Let's just try to apply here as well. And click apply texture. And just fix these points. I quite like it in Brow Edit 586 how you apply textures, but this got some more features. Uh, let's flip the wall, flip, and uh, let's click apply again. Okay. Flip. Yeah, let me spend some time here to to get this right. I just select this, apply texture, and then I can flip. Uh, for some reason, this didn't, but now it's working. And now flip. Yeah. So you just create some very incredible walls with transparency all right and that's pretty much it for walls this was some kind of weird tutorial because isn't that simple to manage walls in my opinion and in the next tutorial you are learning how to do some painting on the ground like that and see ya